What's going on, everyone? Welcome again to another T-Series Showcase. For today, I have the BAM Gamer Box for April. Now, you will notice it's a bit thicker than other BAM boxes. Well, that is because going forward after April, or April and on, BAM has decided they're going to put a Funko Pop in every single Gamer Box. That's some big news. Uh, if you can't tell, I like my Funko Pops. Um, now, that's the thing, is that I'm also particular about my Funko Pops. So, I'm really hoping I get ones I like. Not that I don't like. That being said, because there's franchises in this box I don't care for. Fortnite. That being said, there's other three, three other three franchises I do kind of enjoy, which are Contra, Castlevania, and Overwatch. Now, before going into the box, I always say what I hope the autograph is from, and I really hope it's from Castlevania or Overwatch. Um, but Castlevania more than likely not, because not really many voices. Before I get into the box, though, I have these two things from Zobi. Yes, they are sliced open. That is because when they both came in, they were slightly damaged. So I had to check if the contents inside were okay. Uh, and they should have been. Now, this one was a purchase. And I, have kn I knew who it was before I got it. So this is Daisy from Kingdom Hearts. Suitable for the, you know, gamer franchise here. Comes with a JSA authentication, uh, and I like my Disney, so nice Daisy Duck autograph to add to our collection here. I'll show you the JSA thing there, and the one on the back there. So, that one I had purchased, it was a daily special, pretty good uh, price for it. Last one is a uh, mystery autograph. Now, I have no idea what this is. Um, I purchased it when I purchased the horror box for Zobi, and this one is, open it this way, for, there we go, that way I can't see, um, this one, the theme was animation or video game, so I figured, gamer box, why not try, all right, here we go, one, two, three, <gasps> is that Scorpion, hey, it's Scorpion, that's awesome, Fun fact, though, uh, Scorpion, being from Mortal Kombat, is in the uh, next Gamer Box next month. So, oh my god, that's really cool. Uh, I think it's Patrick Seitz, I want to say. Because he's Scorpion in uh, MK10. I think he was Scorpion in Scorpion's Revenge. And a couple other things here and there. So, very cool. Um, also, if you haven't seen the new uh, Mortal Kombat movie, go watch it. It's pretty good. Um, I have my issues with it, but more or less, I enjoyed it. Right, so that's the pop. That's some BAM paper that I'm gonna Alright. More paper. More paper. Why? Alright. Down to the nitty-gritty here. So I got a pin. I have an art card. And I have the scratch off, which I got everything I want. Cool. Alright, put the pin down. Here we go. So we're going to do the scratch off first. Well, how do you win a scratch off? You have to match all three symbols here. I've done it once before. And I want a free band box previously. This time I have a free art upgrade. And look at that. A free band box and a free band ultra. I didn't win. Big surprise. Probably never win one of those again. Uh, I have shown in a previous video though. It's back here. I do have a little frame thing of my uh, winning card. That, because it will never happen again. So that's just there to uh, proof that I did it. All right, next is the gamer card. It says, Bam Gamer, congratulations. This is an authentic Bam fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This is part of the year's villain series. Featured artist is Sean Langley. 1749 out of 2500. And again, the art cards are never revealed in the franchises, so this is just something random. One, two, three. Majora's Mask. Ugh, that's weird. How it's bulging. But Majora's Mask nonetheless. Which, I got something up there to show you guys after. So, very creepy looking Majora's Mask here with the bulging, but okay. Ah, well, that's that. Alright, next is the pin... I have no idea what this is going to be from. Well, it's one of four franchises, so... Alright, so it says this pin has a limited release. 
numbers are on the back of the pin. I should have looked the first few times. Uh, and this just pretty much says that uh, once the pins are created, the molds are destroyed, essentially. So here we go. One, two, three. That is Contra. Alright. Rugged looking pin there. Uh, I guess I can see if the number's on the back. So, yeah, no, no numbers on the back, so I don't know why I'm trying. Um, if it was a limited, like a limited limited, like the lower ones, the level up, uh, it would say the numbers on the back. But this one is just the common pin uh, of Contra. I don't remember the name of the characters. And I'm not going to bother trying to put it back in the box. All right. I'm going to save the pop for second to last, which means I can't look. All right, so next is this fan art print, this COA, I'll read it. it says, BAM Authentic, Certificate of Authenticity. This fan art inspired art print is from our fan art collection and was created exclusively for a single run print of the BAM box. It has been hand signed by the artist who created it and is guaranteed authentic. One, two, three. Castlevania, and that's Alucard, and that's a level up. That's cool, all right, so. Number 220 out of 20, uh, out of, bleh, 220 out of 500, and there is the auto, an Alucard print. That's very cool. I actually really like uh, Castlevania and Alucard, so that's uh, probably going to stick around with me. All right, so that leaves, where are we at? Uh, Overwatch and Fortnite. All right, so here's a pop, and <laughs> it's a fish from fortnite all right uh so this is fish stick from fortnite which sure fortnite did come in a nice uh bam protective case but um i just don't care about fortnite whatsoever so not for me that being said though they did say that there will be random drops for pops for um for level ups that are going to be signed by the uh, voice actor. So here's the COA. All right. So Overwatch. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three. Thera. Okay. That's a pretty cool art uh, art print. Wow. That's a pretty cool print. I do enjoy Overwatch. I played Thera a little bit. So this is Gen Co. So there you go. She's known for Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Shadowlands, and Star Wars The Old Republic. I love the picture at the top there, how she's saluting like Farrah. Very cool. I'm impressed by that. Alrighty. Uh, something good. Alright, and next is just the card here. Go ahead and put this down here. There you go. Bam Gamer, April 2021. Excuse me, let's see here. Uh, for this month's box, we're feeling most or both nostalgic and new age when curating these franchises and collectibles. This month also marks our Switch, includes some amazing Funko Pots in every box. Start your collection and add one to your current one. Alright, so, fish sticks. So it says Funko Pop. This month we have happily started to switch to including an amazing Funko Pop in every box from Fortnite. Enjoy either Fish Chick or the very festive Merry Marauder. Yeah, I don't care about either of those. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on. The art card of Majora's Mask here. Choosing our favorite villain from Zelda was admittedly hard to do. We finally landed on Majora, considering the difficulty of defeating the Wrath. We also knew that it would be an amazing, an awesome addition to everyone's sketch card collection. In circulation as well are some one-of-one hand-drawn sketch cards, including more Zelda antagonists from artist Sean Langley. Very cool. The pin right here is from Contra. It says, From possibly one of the most nostalgic and wildly played games of the 80s and beyond, we are thrilled to finally include Contra pin set by artist Tom Ryan. He's back again. While most of you receive the character Lance Bean, you can collect the whole set with the remaining Bill Riser and Colonel Bahama pins. Okay. Next, we have the uh, art 
Artist Alley, which I have the level up of Alucard here. For this month's art uh, fan art, Jerry Selina, Celine, maybe, delivers more 80s nostalgia with the modern twist. Enjoy the Castlevania print variant uh, print and variant while trying not to think of the amount of time and frustration this game may have a cost in the past. So that's the regular one with the castle of uh, Dracula. And there's all the level ups down below. Uh, I got that and oh cool the pharaoh would have been neat but lastly celebrity autograph. Clear skies full hearts can't lose among voicing many other characters such as Lord Zash from Star Wars Old Republic and Ursa in Avatar The Last Airbender. Voice actor Janet Cohen is this month's celebrity as Overwatch's Farah. Very cool. All right. Uh, excited about the Farah autograph. Um, more than likely, we'll end up getting framed and put up on wall somewhere. Uh, I just don't know where yet. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and do uh, one, two, three, four, five. And number five, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Get that out of the way. All right. Sorry, not sorry. I don't like Fortnite. All right. So at number four, uh, I'm going to go and give it to the art card. I'm probably going to keep it because Majora is cool. I just don't like how it's not proportionate wise. That's the only quip I have without it. It's great art. Just a little off. Uh, number three, I'm going to give it to the pin here. Pin was neat. Uh, probably won't keep it though. Contra is nice, but not my favorite. Number two, uh, definitely going to keep this Alucard print. It's fantastic, and I love Castlevania. Um, they did a really good job with this one. And at number one, I'm 100% going to keep this, is this Farah autograph um, from <clears throat> Jen Cohen. Love this thing. And then, of course, I have my uh, honorable mentions of the things I knew I purchased that didn't know about and knew about. So, these are nice. All right. So, um, that's my rating system. If you guys want to tell me yours or tell me what your favorite item in this box was, feel free to comment down below what it is. Also, when you do that and subscribe to the channel, you're entered into my 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh, that will be announced once we hit 250 subscribers. If you want to help me get to that a lot quicker, please share this video. It does help. Also, hit the like button on the video and ring that notification bell. That way you know whenever I post a new video. If you check out the description below, you'll see links to the Bandbox, Zobi, and a bunch of other things, as well as the T-Series Collectibles eBay page, which is my business. Now, I pulled one thing I was going to show you guys, but I, I completely changed my mind because seeing Majora, I have this fantastic Majora's Mask first four-figure deluxe or collector's edition replica right here. This thing is huge. It's amazing. Pretty sure it is a uh, almost on scale. I only have two of these. Uh, they are really, really amazing looking and should be fantastic collector's items for anyone to have. Uh, the item I did pull originally, because this is a gamer box, I have this Ellie figure statue from The Last of Us 2 with her bow. So that's another thing I got for sale. I got one of those, guys. So guys, if you want these items, go and click the link below to check out the prices and everything on T-Series Collectibles. Um, that being said, that was the last thing in this and i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one take care